All right, everybody. So last episode, I made a huge mistake that ended up having me lose the game, and I ended up restarting and made me look like a total, total fool, okay? I'm not going to play that clip because it's embarrassing, but if you want to go see for yourself, you, you guys can go check it out. So we are going to go and annihilate this next level, and excitingly enough, after that, we get to unlock the last and final character in Balloon's Adventure Time TD, which I'm... It's exciting and also scary at the same time. I'm sure there's still more quests and things for us to do afterwards, but this is the final character. You know what I just realized? I think I just, oh my goodness, I just had an amazing idea. What if we get Tuxedo Jake, okay? And then we put the missile on Tuxedo Jake, and then we can just start, oh my goodness, guys, time out, time out. I just had, I just had the most overpowered idea ever. I want to try this, guys. Hear me out. I don't know if this is going to work, but if it does, it's going to be super awesome. So let's go to characters. Let's go to Dungeon Finn. Let's take this rocket off. So we're just going to swap the rocket. Six range and attack speed while near a female character. That's going to be pretty good for him. And now, Tuxedo Jake, what do we have on you? Oh, wait, we have an open trinket. Why am I bad at this game? Please tell me he can have the rocket. He can have the rocket. Oh my goodness, normally this character doesn't do any damage whatsoever, but now with the rocket, and he has the rocket, he can be the first character that we put down. Guys, a banana farm, literally a banana farm that pops balloons. How overpowered is this? Wait, don't tell me this is going to be as crazy as I think it's going to be. Maestro. So the balloon is actually attacks much slower now that he has it instead of tuxedo jake or not tuxedo jake dungeon finn so look how much slower it is now that he has it so the balloon actually attacks much much slower uh -huh. which i think does make it a lot less viable but at the same time so it also doesn't hit blue balloons as well so it, it's not as strong as i would like it to be but it doesn't matter because it's still just slow, steady damage, right? And now we can just level up while he pops balloons. We don't need to put down any other characters. So we can just start getting money even faster. So we can go ahead and just get like Busker as soon as we get that upgrade. Look at this. Ready and round three Busker without any help whatsoever. Look at that. So now he actually one shots blue balloons. Oh, because they're in the range of him. So it actually does way more damage. Now, so it does actually less damage now. Okay, so some balloons... Nope, no balloons have even gotten by yet. No balloons have gotten by. Not a single one. How crazy is that? So it's definitely... It's it's okay, but it's not as crazy as I would like for it to be. Yeah, as you can see, we're, we're even... We're even losing a couple of lives here. So it's not as great as I had hoped for. Let's go ahead and just throw down our, our buddy here. So he can't wait. So he can be put there. He's just in he's just in the sand. He's like right on that thing, I think. Okay, let's get I guess musician's gonna be the next one that we're gonna need to get. I think that was a cool idea, but definitely not as strong as I'd hoped for. Unless we put more things on him that allows him to attack in a pop balloon, I don't think it's gonna be strong enough. Unless we try to make him a, like an attack tower, which I think Imagine winning using only trinkets. How crazy would that be? Hey, it actually might be possible to win using only trinkets. Like, because technically, Tuxedo Jake doesn't do any damage, right? So we'd have to put a bunch of upgrades on him and try to win using that. I want to try that. I think it would be so crazy that it just might work kind of situation. We could put the thing on him that gives him an additional laser attack. We could make it so he has the plane. We could do, we could actually make that work. 100% we'll we'll try that out sometime okay superstar we only need 2,000 more dollars and then we can make an insanely powerful like setup so we're doing great so far we need to just start upgrading characters that's like that we just I'll just upgrade everything upgrade look at that upgrade everything I want to get that one two combo uh, let's also get uh, their allegro tempo Alleg allegro I have no idea how to spell that why am I so bad at pronouncing things? You think I'd be better at pronouncing things after having to read all these things, but apparently not. Apparently, I'm just a dummy. All right, let's go ahead and get the Ice King because the this guy is actually the nuttiest character in the game. Like the Ice King is literally the craziest character in the game. 
These balloons don't stand a chance with the Ice King. We're already at round 33. We're trying to, I mean, I can't even see the balloons anymore. Look at that. These balloons are getting annihilated. I don't even think they stand a chance. Actually, these guys are getting so annihilated. Guys, watch this. So we're gonna, we're gonna sell tuxedo. Let's move them down here. Because I, these balloons are just getting annihilated. I know this is like really bad to do this. There we go. Okay. Now let's just start moving all these characters down here. Okay, where's Tuxedo Drake? Ah! I was not ready. I was not ready for that. Okay. We want to continue. I did not want to do that. Okay, it cost $1,000. That's fine. Okay, don't send anything. I wasn't ready. Okay, I should have been ready. I should have known that was about to happen. I, I don't know why I destroyed that guy. I literally made the exact... No, okay, not the exact same mistake. I made, I made a similar yet equally silly... Uh, <laughs> mistake as last time all right there we go look at how insane the, this guy is all right winter weather lightning strike we still have like twenty thousand dollars so it's fine all right let's put the flame princess down royal fury royal fury is an amazing upgrade i love it it costs it's a thousand dollars but anything that boosts everybody around you is an insane upgrade in my opinion like unwavering so the allies of regal presence characters in range get increased range and pierce like they all just stack like all i really wish if you clicked on them it'd say what kind of a buff they got that's one thing balloons oh my gosh you see that one uh, look at that one ability that's insane look at those pops whoosh 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 okay all of these characters like in the right like light are just so powerful I love this. It, they're just getting destroyed. All right, we have eighteen thousand dollars. What character do we want to put down? Let's put this guy down. Don't worry, he's gonna stop all of them. Pew 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 pew. I love like how sad most allies are. Most allies are so worthless. It's not even funny. Like this character, he's just not. It is. Look, I spent like eight hundred dollars on him, and this is what he does. Look, okay. To give you an idea, I spent, no, I spent about a thousand dollars on those upgrades, right? A thousand dollars, okay? So let's see what we can get for a thousand dollars, okay? So the same price, I can buy Warrior PB, and then with Warrior PB, so I can also get Candy Archers. Nope, I can still get more. And then I can also get, okay, by the way, this is the same price as this guy, with a hundred pops. I can get this character who summons allies. And then I could also, let's see, combat, combat expertise. Okay. So this is roughly the same price. Think about that. These people are all just popping balloons. And this guy, this guy just, yeah, like, look at it. Like, it's insane. Like that, look at the difference. It's, yeah, I don't know. It definitely feels like your money can go a long ways and also a very short ways with certain characters. I just don't see the use of most. Most allies are not that good in my opinion. Some of them are insane. And some of them are really important, right? Like, I like the idea of, like, this, I mean, as, like, the monkey farmer. That's great. I'm glad that that's an ally. I think that's a great ally. Or, like, um... Oh, my gosh. Look at the grave. Look at the mass grave. What is another really good ally? I mean, the technological terror. That's an insane ally, right? But the, um... Monkey fan super fans. Those are a really cool ally because you need them in order to get like something a normal character Right, they like go like hand in hand with the super monkey and I like that I think it's a really cool upgrade mechanic, right? But some of them are just like I don't know some of them just seem so weak or like Gunter right Gunter seems worthless unless you spend thirty thousand dollars and then it becomes a literal sun god temple And he just annihilates everything and you're like, yeah, that's awesome. That's like so cool. I guess I should probably just upgrade her more. Gumball signs. There we go. And like these. So yeah, we put a lot of upgrades into her. Okay. Wait. What are those? Are those supposed to be gumballs? Because those are. No, no, no. Those are the gumballs. What are these guys again? Candy. Summon candy archers. What kind of candy are they though? They look like the like they look like a cookie, right? They look like a cookie, but they're definitely too round to be a cookie. They look kind of like a muffin. No idea whatsoever. Oh my goodness, we have forty thousand dollars. What do we want to do? We could just let's get let's get Gunter. I was just talking about him. I want to grab Gunter. Let's put him right here. And then we can get, let's also get a technological terror, and we can put a technological terror right here. 
I guess like we can put detected logical terrors like anywhere. Right? Oh right, there we go. Oh no, I don't have enough money. Wow, we just spent forty thousand dollars. I guess I guess getting Gunter is a little bit expensive. Look at that. He yeah, you could sell him and just get twenty one. He's the most expensive character by far. He's the most expensive character. You can combine everyone's prices together, and that's what you're gonna get is like Gunter's price. Like that's how crazy he is. Only seven hundred pops feels bad. Look, this guy's only popped 700 blues. I mean, it's not fair because this person I put a lot more money into. But I guess they she's popped the same amount for the most part. But look, I mean, he's determined. I'll give him that. But, like, look at this guy. Look at the pops these guys get. If those guys were in the range of this guy, that they would do so much damage because they get an additional three damage. So it would be multiplied by three. And, like, they already do an insane amount of damage. All right, how are we doing? We're at round 59. One more round for the ZOMG, and then the ZOMG is gonna, we're gonna kick it, but I need to use those ghost things more, way more often. Oh, there we go, here, let's, uh, here, we can put Dungeon Fin right there. Boom, and then he'll just shwack them. Get it, get it, beat it up. Here, go my hot dog warriors, you can do it. My hot dog warriors indeed cannot do it. Oh my gosh, we're gonna beat it, right? We're, no, wait, I'm, we're totally fine. Where they, they haven't even gotten in the range of this yet. Yeah, look. Oh, oh, I totally forgot. When they get in the range of the actual damage dealers, it kind of becomes... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy! Let's go. All right, that's it. We should have every character now. I think we should, we should unlock her. Let's get double rewards because we deserve that. We worked hard for our double rewards, guys. All right, I'm so ready. All right, so we get... Marceline, you can come out now. <laughs> Take this sunscreen. It's SPF 10 million. Fine. I just finished the lyrics to my new song anyway. The balloons are terrorizing Ooh. Oh no. Max. Young lady, such as yourself, shouldn't be out here alone. <laughs> Max. Horrible. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Wait, Jake, why are you underwear? <laughs> Don't worry, monkey boy. I got you covered. Oh. Just been introduced to Marceline, the vampire queen. Yes, it is a kid's game, and I enjoy it very much. All right, flying. Pursues balloon. Slow attack speed. Well, we can change that. So, Oh, so she uses an instrument, so abilities. Raises an army of skeleton archers. Awesome. Marceline transformed into a giant bat. Also awesome. Okay, so quest slots. Do we got a new? Yeah, let's go. So we can have more quests now. And we completed that. And we can collect this. So now we have even more cool stuff. All right, what do we got? Let's see. I'm ready. 300 coins. Yay! Oh, we got a pink wish orb. Aw, oh, that would have been cool if we could have doubled that. But I guess that that is wishful thinking at that point. All right, let's open it up. So let's open up our super wish orb. All right, any new things? Grenade of glob. That's a weapon. I don't want weapons. Lemon hope. Lemon hope can use his gift of music to inspire other characters to fight more efficiently. He's a boost character? Yes. Absolutely. You you kidding me? A, a character that uh, yes yes I do want that. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, I don't want a green. I don't want a green, and I don't want a green. Okay, perfect. That is amazing. Okay, so we have two things I want to look at. I want to look at care. I want to look at allies. Can I look at an ally tree? All right, Tuxedo Jake. Okay, I I really don't care about this guy. Swap. And where is okay? There we go. Info. Does it say? Look at his so. Boost attack speed of another character. Okay, so boosted character attacks even faster. Boosted character attacks faster still. Encore. Lemon Hope can boost two characters at once. So he can like... Yo, so he can like do... Okay, swap. Absolutely. We, that is very important to have that character. Alrighty. Anyways, let's go back and let's look at our new... Let's look at Marceline. Okay, so let's see what she's all about. So... She flies around, improved flight, telekinesis, uh, ferocity, needs an instrument. Marceline's instrument weapon becomes more powerful. She seems like she could be pretty awesome. We need to get her to level 5 so we can see her true uh, stuff. But let's see. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. What can I level up? I don't want to see her. I don't care about her equipment. Sweet. We leveled her up, but I want to see. Yeah. I already know what her. How, how, how do I go back? Marceline. There we go. That was weird. Weapons. Okay. Oh, here we go. Characters in range get plus one damage. That's going to be awesome. And we can get more allies and trinkets. There's a lot of things we're going to have to do here. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye!